Hey guys, it's Kristen from Blue Egg Brown Nest. Um, so just imagine you're out working on a little piece like this little white piece that you might have seen in one of my other video shorts when I was showing you how to shellac. Well, imagine you were putting it out to take photos of it and you put some beautiful vintage red books on it. And when you took them off, all of a sudden you realized there were some red marks from those old vintage books on your new white table. I hope you can kind of see that. It's red and it's a mark. So, um, so I'm sitting here working, I was like, I guess I should do a little short for you. So what I did, and I can solve this problem, I take um, a piece of fine steel wool. This one has been used many times over, but it's still, still usable right here so um, and I've already done this on part of the section uh, where there was some more red down here but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna rub it with the grain of my of my painting and blow away the dust the steel wool dust again and, ta-da, no more red. Isn't that really cool? So that's another really useful, helpful tool. Um, also, just to wipe down this, um, this dust, I'm just gonna take my dry brush that is way across in my garage, so I won't grab it now, but I'm just gonna take my dry brush and kind of just brush everything off, but there is no more red. So you didn't have, I didn't have to repaint anything. I didn't have to re-wax anything, although I got really scared that I was gonna have to. Um, but I just used my fine steel wool. Do not use heavy steel wool. If you do, it will scratch your paint. This is soft. Um, I wanna, no, I use 100 grade sandpaper. I don't know the grade of this, but it's the finest one um, that they sell. So I will get you the name of it, but. Um, but yeah, hope that helps. Um, for other tips and video shorts, check out blueeggbrownnest.com and I'll see you over there. Thanks.